Good morning. It's Wednesday and it's time for our devotion together. Today we are in Hebrews chapter 12, the first 17 verses after we have heard about all the people of faith, or not all, but many of the people of faith in chapter 11. Now we get a little bit of, uh, okay, now here's what we're going to do. Uh, so the text begins, so then with endurance, let's also run the race that is laid out in front of us since we have a, such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us. Let's throw off any extra baggage, get rid of the sin that trips us up, and fix our eyes on Jesus, faith's pioneer and perfecter. He endured the cross, ignoring the shame for the sake of the joy that was laid out in front of him and sat down at the right side of God's throne. Think about the one who endured such opposition from sinners so that you won't be discouraged and you won't give up. In your struggle against sin, you haven't resisted yet to the point of shedding blood, and you have forgotten the encouragement that addresses you as sons and daughters. My child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline or give up when you are corrected by him, because the Lord disciplines whomever he loves, and he punishes every son or daughter whom he accepts. Bear hardship for the sake of discipline. God is treating you like sons and daughters. What child isn't disciplined by his or her father? But if you don't experience discipline, which happens to all children, then you are illegitimate, illegitimate and not real sons and daughters. What's more, we had human parents who disciplined us and we respected them for it. How much more should we submit to the Father of spirits and live? Our human parents disciplined us for a little while, as it seemed best to them. But God does it for our benefit so that we can share God's holiness. No discipline is fun while it lasts, but it seems painful at the time. Later, however, it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness for those who have been trained by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and weak knees. That's the verse that I have uh, used as a summary of the whole book. Uh, so strengthen your drooping hands and weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet so that if any part is lame, it will be healed rather than injured more seriously. Pursue the goal of peace with everyone and holiness as well, because no one will see the Lord without it. Make sure that no one misses out on God's grace. Make sure that no root of bitterness grows up that might cause trouble and pollute many people. Make sure that no one becomes sexually immoral or ungodly like Esau. He sold his inheritance as the oldest son for one meal. You know that afterward, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected because he couldn't find a way to change his heart and life though he looked for it with tears. There is more love somewhere. There is more love somewhere. I'm gonna keep on till I find it. There is more love somewhere. There is more hope somewhere. There is more hope somewhere. I'm going to keep on till I find it. There is more hope somewhere. There is more peace somewhere. There is more peace somewhere. I'm a gonna keep on till I find it. There is more peace somewhere. There is more joy somewhere. There is more joy somewhere. I'm gonna keep on till I find it. There is more joy somewhere.